Encino, the number nine at 20 to one. Now, there's a lot to like about this horse. Uh, jockeys Alex Conception on this one, trained by Brad Cox. Now, you got to like the fact that Encino was sired by Derby winner uh, Nyquist. Uh, when you look further back in his pedigree, uh, his mother's father's Bernard Dini, whose uh, sire was AP Indy. So you're looking at um, lots of strong um, mile and a quarter breeding in there. AP Indy ties you back into Secretariat in Seattle Slough. So you got to like the breeding on Encino. You got to like this last workout he had here 59 second breezing. Um, doesn't say everything, but it's good to see that he's in good shape. That is a good time. You got to like the fact that the worst race he's ever run, he lost by a neck. And he's won every other race. So, uh, running four, three wins, uh, one second place by a neck. You got to say he's a competitive horse for sure. The wins, that's kind of where... Uh, kind of where the, it, it's the reality of that 20 to 1 start to set in here he's got a win in lexington the lex uh, um yes in lexington at keeneland the lexington stakes was his last win he wired that race not much competition though uh didn't have to go too fast got a win in uh, 143 in the mile and 116th so yeah he, he got the win not much competition it was almost kind of like a workout there before that he got a win in the john battaglia um running that at Turfway on Artificial. There was other uh, three races on tur on um, Artificial as well. But he did prove that he could translate over to the dirt at Keeneland with no problem. So you got to like a lot about this horse. He's raced in Kentucky his whole life, so he's not going too far. Same atmosphere, essentially, except you're going to have the the, uh, the derby atmosphere added. Jockey, young jockey, you kind of would want to see a more experienced jockey on this horse. But the good thing you like about this jockey is that he has won on this horse before. He He's ridden him every other race except for that Lexington Stakes. It was Florence Rowe that rode him in that race. So, uh, Alex Concepcion jumping back aboard a horse he's familiar with. You, you got to like it, especially in the Derby. There's been a lot of times you've had these Derby winners that the jockey was able to get that win. And that's the only really big win the jockey ever had in his career uh, was with his horse that was good enough to win the Derby. And um, horses, just like all animals, have rapport with certain people. Um, a good sign that a horse has rapport with his jockey is that he wins races with him. So uh, you don't want to overcomplicate that uh, when evaluating the jockey. You would want to see more experience, but you do like the fact that he's got a win aboard him. Uh, also, uh, evaluating that the jockey kind of goes along with the trainers. Like even the, the jockeys out there riding, you got Brad Cox um, as the trainer. So the, the trainer is going to set up the strategy for a younger jockey. He's not going to go out there and just wing it on his own. So, like I said, there is a lot to like about Encino. Can he get the speed? I don't know. He's going to be running up front. Uh, most likely, I don't think he's going to take the lead. The fastest uh, f opening half he ever ran was a 47. He did that in that Lexington. It's going to have to be a lot. It's going to be faster than that. I don't see any way it's not 46 or lower. Um, and I don't see Johnny Velasquez giving him that lead at 47. So he's going to have to go faster or else hang back there. That could come to his detriment. It most likely usually does come to the detriment of horses that ride too close to the Kentucky Derby pace. Unless he's really got the grit to ride it out. Not sure. The horse, that's the thing with the horses that win a lot. You don't really know what it takes to beat them. So he does have a loss in his first race. But I mean, a lot of horses lose in their first race. And it was only by a neck. So I don't think we've seen the best of Encino. Uh, I don't know if he's good enough to beat Fierceness or um, Stronghold or um, is that other horse, Sierra, Le Sierra Leone, I think, yeah. I don't know if he's just, uh, fast enough to beat them. Um, I did now. I think he is fast enough to beat Sierra Leone. He's shown he's got the times. I think um, he's got the breeding and uh, he's got the workouts with it. I think he's got the speed to beat Sierra Leone. So there, I said it. All Sierra Leone lovers will... Uh, Drop your hate in the comment section, please. Um, so that's all I've got for Encino. Uh, Going to be riding close to that hot pace. 
Uh, we'll see if that's the detriment uh, of him, but uh, that does put him in a position to win. So if he's got the stamina, um, it could be dangerous.